morning. Hello. Some pre-sale stretches. Oh, I'm not very flexible, <laughs> as you can see. It's insanely wet out here this morning. Yeah. Not, not totally sure. Why? They, why? Why does it cause it to be so wet? Uh, it has something to do with the dew point. Mm. And I think it's like it's quite warm right now, so I think it's just like. Oh, catching up. Yeah, it's wild. Like it looks like it rained, but then. Anyway, beautiful morning. Today marks a very, very exciting day for us because we, in a couple hours, we are about to start our sale back to the docks for the winter, which is kind of crazy to believe. The summer has gone by so fast, but we're really excited for the change in pace and to do another sailing trip. We're gonna obviously sail back to the docks and uh, take a couple days to do it. We're just kind of getting last minute stuff done, having some coffee and pretty much just waiting for the tides to turn before we'll head out. We don't have too long of a day, I think about 15 nautical miles and yeah, sail to new anchorage and start making our way closer to the docks. Also, we have been getting so many questions over the past couple months about our haul, has it been cleaned, have we gotten the zings changed, all that kind of stuff. And the answer is yes, we actually just got off the phone. We So normally we do it ourselves, and we will need to get a haul out to do to redo the bottom paint you know, within the next couple years. But we did just get a diver down, they cleaned the whole hull, they replaced the zinks, and so we should be good to go, which is awesome. Normally we do it ourselves and put it on the grid or something, but we just didn't have time and yeah, it was a higher priority and so we just decided to hire someone to do it and it looks awesome. There was a lot of growth on it from the summer and so we, we knew that it needed to be done before we went anywhere far, basically. And, uh, and also just to check on the prop and get that clean and stuff. It's kind of funny, the diver used the phrase, it would have been like sailing a brick. So <laughs> apparently it was quite dirty and yeah, it feels really, really good to just have that done. And we're starting to look really good to get back to the docks. So that's all. Hey. There's a sunken ball over there. Oh, seriously? Yeah, that orange thing. How low is it? Well, it's bad. It's because it's like three feet below the water. Ooh, we should almost mark that thing. I don't know if we'd be able to get at it. I think it's sinking. Oh no. Like, I don't think we could get it with a hook. Wow, that's too bad. We're leaving an old line and floaty on the mooring ball just to make it easier because last time when we hooked up and there was no lines attached to it, it's like a really small hole that you have to get into. And so this at least will be able to grab the floaty, um, tie up really quickly and then put our normal mooring lines on. So we do tow our dinghy behind the boat with the engine on it and I know we've had people concerned about that in the past as well. We like to keep the engine on um, just for like it's easier and also it's just like nice to have a boat at the ready but what we do is we actually tie on the gas tank and the engine to the dinghy itself and then we also lock the engine on so any vibrations or jolting hopefully shouldn't like let it loose. Um, we haven't had any problems with it yet and it's not going to be crazy out there today it's going to be pretty chill. 37. So, ooh at 10. Maybe I got my 10. Can you imagine if I just got the gas done? Oh no yeah yeah so at 10 they're still against us. 
And then at 11. Where are we right here? Yep. So at 11, they're going to be with us going around here, which is what we want. And then at 12, they're, it's all with us. Well, it's with us a little more. So our planning is pretty simple. Uh, we use Navionics for navigation. And that's just on our phones because we don't have any other setup at the moment. And then we just use current tables. And yeah, they go by hours, so they're definitely less accurate. And we, we kind of like check on Navionics because they have tides. But I really like the visual that it gives you. Like, yeah, I like to see where all the currents are going instead of Navionics, which I don't know. I don't know if there is like a better way of seeing currents on Navionics. We have not found it yet, but yeah. And then we use Windy. Yeah, we use Windy for, for wind, which seems to be pretty good around here. And other than that, it's pretty much it. just go with it. We're starting to learn this area a the lot weather, better. I guess. We're able to watch the weather. Watch the weather, yeah. Yeah, so we're starting to learn the area a lot better and are starting to prioritize currents a lot more uh, because it just makes such a huge difference <laughs> going yeah. five knots versus two and a half knots. Have you told them we got the bottom clean? Yes, I did. Yeah, nice. bottom is clean. We should be moving quick today. We should be moving quick. Quicker I have a... than normal. Yeah, yeah. I feel like our I feel like our trips at the beginning of the summer we were probably being weighed down a little bit yeah. um, by the stuff that we couldn't see. So yeah, it'll be good like a torpedo through the water <laughs> yeah that's that's how we plan now we're gonna make some bagels i think make some bagels and wait for the tides to change i get tides and currents confused all the time <laughs> well they tide, tide. tides affect currents i guess <laughs> i think it's all yeah yeah I mean, the jib isn't normally so nicely folded up. I know, it looks it looks so tiny, hey? <laughs> yeah, it, it actually does look tiny. It's weird. Yeah, normally it's chaos. I know. Things are moving. It feels so weird just having to wait, but. like a line of glass right now right there we were talking about like we have perfect wind right now to sail but we just wanted to get out of the bay and it's the funniest thing i think wind sort of like funnels in because it's quite windy right now 
but we can see at the mouth where it opens up it is glass so fingers crossed we get a little bit of wind um, but it's, it's not looking too hot right now there it is it's just so crazy how that happens I guess I don't know if that's like a land breeze land breeze sea breeze sort of thing but well feels so good to be moving There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Look at this! <laughs> Not an ounce out of wind out here. Wow, there's a huge tugboat. Look at that barge. The tides are giving us a boost. Here. Seven knots. <laughs> We're moving. That's a big barge. Wow, do you see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must be fishing here. Yeah, they're staying in that spot, hey? Whoa! Holy! Wow. That's cool. That's amazing. Oh, there's like a whole pod. has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. There was like literally hundreds of porpoises and they, I don't know, there must be a huge school of fish or something and they're fishing and yeah, wow. Oh, what was that? Something just jumped over there. Everywhere you look, this is insane. They're literally everywhere. Whoa. Literally everywhere you look, they're there. Like I see another one. Obviously we're like trying to keep our distance and stuff. Um, oh, there's some current here, hey? That's a weird spot for current. Oh, maybe there, anyway. Um, everywhere you look, 
That's insane. This video is just gonna turn into like a porpoise montage, but it's just the coolest thing. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. The not so great news though is that we still have zero wind, so we're gonna continue to motor because we need to move at least. And yeah, hopefully we'll pick up a little more, but it's not looking too hot. it we're anchored we're settled in we just had some lunch uh, we unfortunately didn't get the sails up today we had a couple puffs of wind but that was it and yeah we just decided to motor for the day yeah there wasn't much wind there was no wind we wouldn't have moved anywhere and we saw a huge pod of porpoises yes they were wild probably like I don't know they kept going and going and going it was crazy they were all around us probably at least a hundred like all in all? Yeah, it, seem, it seems like it, like, yeah, for like 20 minutes. Yeah, uh, that was incredible. That was like the coolest thing ever, I think. They just kept popping up. Like you thought they were done and they're like, oh yeah, they're behind us now. And then they just kept coming up and yeah, that was really cool. We hit the currents properly today. We were ripping along. I think the bottom too with the clean bottom. Yeah. yeah we Such a huge difference. But and now we're gonna go to the island here yeah. there's hikes and stuff to do so yeah go explore around a little bit how big it's gonna be about thir uh, max is like near 30. okay so maybe 30 porpoises not 50. no not 100. <laughs> yeah i exaggerated a little bit <laughs> yeah but still who knows still a lot maybe there are two pods maybe it was like a super pod or something yeah all catching the same drift.
This was the start of the end of our summer. Living off grid has been full of fun and sometimes challenging experiences, and we had a few hiccups along the way. But as the seasons change, we look forward to arriving at the docks and plugging in our space heaters. We're grateful to have this beautiful fall weather for our trip home and are constantly reminded of the beauty of the Pacific Northwest.